Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks have defeated the Oilers 5-2 in Edmonton. Here's what I liked, here's what I didn't like, and here's one other thing. I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Thomas Drance and Katie Caldwell for hosting a wonderful Puck Talks Live event at the Pint downtown Vancouver. It was great to hear from both of them. It was great to catch up with both of them and hang out with dozens of Canucks fans from across the Lower Mainland. But it was really cool, great atmosphere, and um, of course it helped that the Canucks won. What I like, Tanner Pearson's game. Two goals, two assists, four points. The audio wasn't on the whole time and it was kind of loud in the in the bar. So I didn't know that he had those two assists. And it wasn't until the Canucks tweeted that he was in on all four goals. So wonderful, quiet four points, if that ever makes sense. Tanner Pearson, monster game. Great to have secondary scoring. It was great to see Louis Erickson score. You could tell he was happy, he was relieved. I'm sure he was uh, saying some swear words in Swedish as he skated to, to fist bump all his teammates. But it was great to see him get that goal, um, the fourth goal of the game for the Canucks. As well, I love the Canucks penalty kill. They didn't allow an, an Oilers uh, power play goal. I think the Oilers scored right at the end of one of their power plays, but it wasn't a power play goal. And I like the way that the Canucks didn't, that they bend, but they didn't break in the second period, especially after the Oilers tied it up. It looked like the, the momentum was going to switch to Edmonton, but Jacob Markstrom and the rest of the team held them off. What I didn't like, I don't like that Alex Edler was injured. We don't know the severity. We don't know if he's going to play tomorrow or if it's going to be Oscar or Fantenberg drawing in. But with the Canucks traveling back in the morning, then playing against the same Oilers tomorrow night, it might be a chance for Edler not to play. Uh, depending, again, on the severity of the injury, he's obviously our number one D-man. And anytime he's out, we other guys got to step up. But we'll see. I don't want to say too much until we know more tomorrow or maybe later tonight, but likely tomorrow. And one other thing, did you notice that when Edmonton scored their second goal, it was Connor McDavid driving to the net, it was um, Zach Cassian scoring, and Pedersen was trying to check Dreisaitl uh, as they went past the net, behind the net. And Dreisaitl gave Pedersen a quick elbow, a quick right elbow, and because of the size difference, it almost caught Pedersen square in the face, in the jaw. Thankfully, it just grazed him, and I was worried that if he connected, that Pedersen might have suffered a concussion or, or at least been out for a little bit. So thankfully, it didn't connect, but I'm not sure if anyone else saw that or it was just me, or maybe I got scared for nothing. There's what I liked, there's what I didn't like, and there's one other thing. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you noticed as well. God bless, and go Canucks go.